Welcome everyone to our second stitch with me, or this stitch with us, um, basic stitches. I'm Jamie from Jamie X Stitch on Instagram. And I'm Jordan at Little Stitch Girl Designs on Instagram. And then we have my sister here, Abby, that's joining us for this stitch with me. Hi. <laughs> Um, today I am going to be working on my new start. This is May from the Year in Chalk by Hands on Design. And I'm working on Prairie Schooler Country Seasons uh, Spring. And I'm working on this one from this Harry Potter book that my mom got me for Christmas. Quite Several a few years, years ago. Yeah. yeah, but it's kind of a collector's item. I had a hard time finding it. It's in French. It was, yeah, it's in French and it was um, from 2001. Anyway, and we're, while we're stitching, we're going to be working on the Trisha, the left-handed stitchers, uh, twinkle tag. So the first question is, what was your first cross stitch? Um, mine was a little like Michael's kit that was one of the little circle hoop kits, um, and it was a purple butterfly. But my first bigger project was an Eeyore that was super cute that says um, thanks for unglooming me and I actually still have it it's in storage I need to pull it out so that I can hang it in my kids room because they actually have some Winnie the Pooh stuff hanging on their walls and it would fit right in mm -hmm. um, it's a cute one my first cross stitch was oh I was anywhere 8 to 10 not sure how old. And my mom had a subscription to the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine. And it was, she was working on some project, and but I wanted to learn. And so she let me choose this one in, out of the magazine. And given she helped me, so it would be one that was fairly simple to do. And she used some of her scrap supplies and different things like fabric and uh, got it all set up for me. And it was flowers, and they are in like rose pinks and mauves and teals. And it's really cute. I still have it. It is not finished. <laughs> so, um, and I'm, I can't remember if I'm missing, I'm missing either the flosses or the, which the flosses I'm sure was DMC, or I'm missing the pattern, one of them, to even think about finishing it now. I mean, that many years later, that'd be kind of funny. But yeah, that was my first I fell in love with. Um, mine was this fish that had headphones on it. But this is the first like real big project ever. So. The fish that had headphones on it, it was one of those little kits from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and stuff as well. It was cute. She did a good job. Um, question number two, how many needle minders do you have and show your favorite one? We talked about this in our last <clears throat> stitch with me because there was a similar question. We don't really use needle minders. We just use these rare earth magnets or neodymium magnets. Mm -hmm. um, they're really strong. They don't mark up the fabric. They're cheap. We just like to use those. Yeah. And I actually just gave Abby one right before starting this video because she hasn't picked up her stitching in a little while and I thought she could use a little gift. Thanks. <laughs> and we just changed her project over from a hoop to a Q-snap. Um, you can probably see the wrinkles from yeah. the hoop a little bit. <laughs> but just to hold it a little better for her. Um, which, if you want your fabric tight, I'll be just a thing. You can go like this and twist those. Kind of squeeze them and twist at the same time. Do both sides. Anyway, just FYI. Okay. Um, yeah, I the cost of the needle minders, they're very cute. But I would rather spend the money on the cross-stitch patterns or flosses and fabrics and things versus the needle minders. So. Although I do have to do a little shout out to <laughs> Caroline from um, Off the Grid Needle Arts. I love her McSteamy and McDreamy mm -hmm. needle minders. Um, I've been watching 
Well, I've watched every episode so far of um, Grey's Anatomy, and Mick Steamy was still, I think, my favorite. He and Lexi. I just love them. I must know. Okay, question. Oh, you messed up. <laughs> you have to get back in the groove of it, huh? Um, so this will be an unstitch with Abby. <laughs> uh, question number three. If you could stitch one picture, what would it be? <coughs> um, I think it'd be really cool to have like a stitched family picture. I have a picture, and I mean, this isn't exactly a family picture, but I have a picture from um, when I got married that is me and my husband, but we're, we were in a tunnel. Um, and so we are like black silhouettes, and then there's like the bright green mountains behind us. And I think it would make a really cool cross stitch but I don't think I'll probably ever do it just because full coverage pieces are a lot of work. Yeah. I, you know... Oh, or my Precious Moments statue from my wedding that I've been searching for that pattern for And I forever. don't think you're going to get that. No. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've suddenly got... I've got a little bit of allergies going on. I've got a little tickle in my throat. I would have to say maybe a picture of the Teton mountain range. Something like that with the flowers and the Snake River. That would be cool. But yet again, that would be a full coverage piece. And I am not necessarily a full coverage stitcher with a lot of the confetti stitching and stuff like that. Um... I've come to learn that the hard way, but anyway, that but that would be, I love outdoor type photos and pictures and things like that. I think there's a really beautiful black and white one that I like that, I think it's an Ansel Adams artwork, but I, I mean I do like the color more than the black and white, but that's just that style of picture. Anyway. <coughs> Um, I really like the painting by Vincent van Gogh, The Starry Night. I think that one would be fun. You found and a kid in that in Hobby Lobby. But yeah. it was expensive and I don't have money. I have yeah. college. Poor college student. <laughs> um, the next question. What other craft would you like to try? Hmm, from, do you know? I mean, I've done like everything. <laughs> Have you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I I think it'd be really cool to do like pottery. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I had signed up for like a ceramics class in high school at one point, and then ended up not taking it. So I think pottery would be really cool. Um, or leather stamping. I think would be really fun to try as well. I have talked about it. I would like to try my hand at quilting. I have never quilted anything. I think if I do, I will start out with the table runner. Um, I just got another brilliant idea to crochet a blanket. I don't know when or how or I haven't even found the pattern I'd like to use for that for sure. But yeah, there's a lot of crafty things I'd like to try and do, but my thing's always the time. There's, there's never none, enough time. No, there's never enough hours in a day. Um, Abby? I want to make like DIY movie props. So like the hoverboard from Back to the Future, um, stuff like that, like a bunch of Harry Potter stuff because I found a bunch of those, but... That's cool. Are they have I haven't seen those. Are they just like on Pinterest and things? Or um, there's this YouTube, yeah, channel, and they try and find it to do it like the most affordable way, which is nice. What channel is it? Um, Prop Guys. I forgot the. I forgot it. I'll look it up and link it. Yeah. 
case anybody else is interested. Okay. Um, next question. What is the longest project you've been working on? Mine is my Disney princesses. I've shown them before in our normal floss tube updates. Um, it's a full coverage piece and it's like 16 pages of pattern. And I have been working on that since 2010, maybe. Mm -hmm. And you've almost got a page. Yeah, I've almost completed one <laughs> of the 16 pages. It's mm. a, the part that I'm working on, there's a lot of confetti and and I, I've realized that I really enjoy the smaller projects because, <coughs> sorry, um, because like I get the finish faster and it kind of gives me the momentum to keep going. Well, and I found that too, that I do like the, I like, I'm an everything stitcher as far as the, I like the process of getting it and kitting it and starting it, but I like the finish of it as well. So that's why I like the smaller pieces is because I can do all the above. Um, I, my oldest one is my Boyd's Bear, Beatrice and, is it Max? No, Beatrice. Isn't it Maxwell? I think so. Anyway, and it, but it's, I call it true love because it is the bride and groom and they're standing under a greenery arch and on the top there's a red ribbon bow and it says on it true love and I have the statue of it that is was my wedding cake topper at my wedding um, I pretty much have done the entire top half I still have some I stopped working on it last time because I was having a problem with the um, floss that they had suggested to use for the gold in it. I pulled that out and I have purchased some gold Krynik, but I have not gone back to working on it and I really should because when I do get in a groove and work on it, I really do enjoy it. There is a lot of color variation in it. Um, you have one spot that you messed up. Yeah, got off counting. but it's just in greenery, and so I think I can still fudge it and make it work um, because it's not like part of the brighter groom. I can make the greenery look. Well, the greenery is almost supposed to be a little messy. Yeah, so I'm going to try and just continue with that, but I have had it forever. Let's see, the bride and groom, if from their like waist up, would be done and then all the greenery and the, everything up above the arch so I still have quite a bit to do because you know there's the, all the bride's dress and the bottom greenery like because they're standing on a <coughs> um, on a, like a green mound anyway and so I, I still do have quite a bit but I I wouldn't say I'm not quite halfway not on my oldest whip and I do believe I've showed it in one of our first floss tubes. Uh, my longest one is this one. I haven't touched it since before today. Not this this last Super Bowl, but the Super Bowl before. So you can all cringe now. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Like, because no. once I get going, I can keep going. Like I did this Slytherin flag all in one sitting so it's like once I get going I get a lot done I just it's a matter of just sitting down and doing it actually finding mm -hmm. the time for it yeah that's funny um, uh -huh. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness what is the quickest project you have done my quickest project was probably um, most recently, the Silent Night chalkboard ornament. I think that one took me two days. Maybe maybe it was three. But I, I finished that one really quickly. It was, I mean, it's small, so it's a quick stitch. But it was also really fun to stitch. My quickest was the year in chalk, um, January. 
and that's because I was working on it on December 31st. Well, I started it one day. <clears throat> I think I started it on 29th? I don't know, of December anyway. And then I worked on it all day on December 31st. And I was going, getting quite a lot of project or progress done on it. And I thought, oh goodness, this is going to be a fit, my last finish of the year. And I did not quite make it from my last finish of the year, but an, uh, it was like 12.45 into this year, 2018. So um, it became my first finish of the year. But I did the majority of it in that one day. I We didn't have a lot going on. It was a snowy, stormy day. And... So I just stayed home and I stitched and I finished it. I mean, my fastest one is not this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was obviously your little fish with the headphones, and that was, but that was a lot littler for you. And too. I don't know when I did that or how long. I got it done though. I mean, so potentially this could also be like your fastest and your slowest. <laughs> Oh goodness. <laughs> um, what threads do you like to use? I really love using DMC. I mean, I mean that's basic, but we're basic stitches, right? Right. Um, it, they just have so many options and and it's so and it's, readily available. Yeah, it's easy to go get it. I mean, we can run to Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart, Walmart is getting rid of theirs, but they still have a few. Um, but then like for the fancy floss, I really like weeks. That's what I've used the most of. Um, and I, I haven't used them, but my mom has the Victorian Moto sampler shop threads and they are so gorgeous. Um, but they're not as readily available to just go pick up as needed. So. Right. So, and I'm going to have to agree. Um, I, I love all the fancy floss. Um, as far as like the variegated and this over dyed. I've used Weeks and Classic Color Works. And Gentle Art. And Gentle Art. And then now I have the Victorian Moto threads. I have collected three months and I've just got the six games a month. Versus you can get the 12 if you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to now start substituting them into projects and start stitching with them, which I'm very excited about. Um, but DMC, you betcha. I, I'm always good with just having DMC. I think it's great. And, and when I do projects, I've been substituting some of the Fancy Floss for DMC, if, especially if it's not used for and you're not going to see the variation in it. If you guys see the variation, I will definitely use it, but if not, then I'll sub out the DMC if it's not enough to make it worth it. So. I've only ever used DMC. It's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked well for you. Um, show us your Oort jar. Well, this right here is my Oort jar and there's nothing in it because it was full of candy yet yeah, again. It's a little trash can. It's ridiculous how many of those pink Starbursts I've been eating. <laughs> They're all pink. I, yeah, it's delicious. So this is mine. It's just a plastic snack baggie. But these are all of my orts for 2018. Um, and I am saving them, and I have all of mine from 2017 to make... Um, Ornaments. Uh -huh. Ornaments with orts. <laughs> um, I'm going to put them all in like the clear plastic ornaments and put vinyl <coughs> lettering? lettering that's just the year. And then one day when I have a craft room, I'm going to hang them in the craft room. I don't keep my orts. I, I just, the only reason I have my little can there is it's when I'm stitching, it sits next to my stitching spot, and then I have a trash can. But I empty it as needed. So, um, 
Mine's just a compartment with has all my threads. Just a piece of her um, floss box. Yeah. Um, show something else you are working on other than stitching. We're not going to answer that one right now because we're just stitching, stitching right now. Yeah, and I don't, honestly, I don't have any other projects I'm working on. I have a stitching. lot of ideas. I have a lot of patterns that I'm writing. I don't know if that counts. Um, sure. But I have so many whips. Like, it's a little bit insane. Between cross stitch and crochet and knitting, my my time is pretty much full. I haven't worked on a lot of the crochet or knitting recently, though. Um, <clears throat> Abby, do you, you don't have any, do you have any other projects you're working on? No, oh. I'm trying to <coughs> save up School. some money. Yeah, because I'm been doing a lot of reading. Yeah. But. But I also want to do make some of the potions that they do in Harry Potter, like make little and just <clears throat> put it somewhere in my room. That'd Potion cool. jars? Yeah. Okay. Um, what are your least favorite threads to use? I don't I, have a least. There I don't are know. some kits that I've got. Oh, that yes. The threads inside of those are just not the best quality. Which it's fine. I don't usually. I usually buy the kit for the pattern anyway. So, um, other than that, white threads can be a pain because, especially like right now, I'm doing it on the black, and so it really shows if you aren't like taking care to make your stitching look good. Which. Uh, in one way, like, who's going to look at my stitching from, like, five inches away to actually see the flaws? But also, I want to know that I've done a quality job, so sometimes I'm torn between whether or not I actually like stitching with white. Um, I, I do have the white issue at times, but really... Any of the flosses I've stitched with, I've liked. Um, I really haven't stitched from a kit. Um, I've always kitted up my own. That gold one that you used. Oh, but I don't even know what that was. I ordered it because it was called for on the pattern. But it was... It, I don't know. It was horrible. I just don't even know the name of it. It's been so long ago that since I've worked on it. <laughs> um, Abby? Oh, no, DMC is great. <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's see. What is a project you've hated working on the most? Um, I don't think I've ever have, had one that I've really, like, hated working on. But the hardest, like, with almost every project, I get to the point that I'm, like, really close to done. I'm, like, 90, 95% the way finished. And I get to this point that I'm, like, I just want it to be done. And so I get really almost, like, angsty toward it. Like, why can't you just be done already? And... Like, I, it's almost like I get so excited for the finish that I Don't am, like, super impatient. Mm -hmm. But then I finish it, and I get super excited and happy, and that, like, almost adrenaline rush from finishing a project. My husband was making fun of me the other night, because I finished summer, and I, I seriously had, like, a huge spark of energy. Like, I, I had an adrenaline rush from finishing it, and he was like... That's a problem. Cross-stitching should not give you an adrenaline rush. But it does. I get that. I don't know that I've ever hated working on a project. I Well, and I will say, I was getting to the point, because I did start a full coverage piece, and I was getting to the point with that that I didn't enjoy it. Part of that was the deadline. Yeah, I don't like stitching with a deadline. Not completely. Um, and so I, I 
everything I've stitched, I'm like, well, actually I do have um, one project that I've started three times. That was due to my choices of fabric. The actual pattern and things is adorable. Um, it was a clothesline. And it was my choices, the things I was doing that I was trying to try new things and broaden my horizons and I just didn't enjoy what I was doing and it was causing me to be frustrated and so yeah and I still have plans to stitch it but I'm going to start it over yet again. I've got some ideas from going down to Shepherd's Bush. They've got uh, different ones in the pad the series hanging on the walls in there and so I'm gonna theirs are beautiful. I'm gonna kinda copy their style that they stitched it and hopefully I won't be frustrated. So anyway, because I I do want those um, patterns stitched. They're, they're so cute. And like I said, it was my fabric choice that was causing me to not like it, not anything else. I mean, I've gotten frustrated with this project. I've messed up twice just in this video. <laughs> but I do have a habit of cutting my thread too long, so I get knots a lot. Like, I'm fine right now, I hope. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, I, I'm not mad at it. There's sometimes you do get mad at your project, so. Yeah. Like, if you put it away, I understood that before, but I've always pulled them back out, so. Okay, that is the last actual question on the tag. Remember, we are doing two cells next week um, with our normal update. We are doing, we're starting our up, up, and away. And we'll also be giving out a pattern on that. Yeah, so we'll be giving away a copy of that pattern that we ordered. Um, and so if you go back on our last video, floss tube, I think it was 12, you can enter that. Um, but then on May 1st, we'll be starting our sal with um, Shauna from Adelaide Cottage Podcast and Jeannie Swartz. And that's the wordplay by With Thy Needle and Thread. So, make sure that you're getting all your goodies and all your materials so that we can start stitching together. Yeah, that'll be fun. We'll have to use some of those as our stitch alongs projects that we work on. Oh, plus I'm going to be doing the, well, you're doing it too, Jordan, right? The Bless Our Home. Yes, from um, it's Purcell and Chelsea's stitch along. Yep. And along with everything else we're stitching. So we have lots to do. We have lots coming up. I, you know, before we started today, I had gone upstairs and talked to my husband and I said, you know, I'm really sorry. You're going to have to take our medical insurance at your work again versus at my work because I need to either quit or go part time. I cannot stitch and keep up and do everything I want to do and work a 40 hour a week job. <laughs> so I just told him, I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, really, you think so? And I'm like, yeah, I need to stitch as, as if it was my job, I think is kind of how Priscilla said it before. And it was funny, but. I'm really grateful that I have a husband that has worked it so that I could stay home. I mean, we barely scrubbed by some months, but. It's really nice to be able to stay home with my kids and then also oh, we're their little ones. stitch. <laughs> so. We got to the point that my paycheck was pretty much just paying for childcare, so we figured I'd rather stay home than right. make the same amount of money. So and then I'm really single. <laughs> 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 so you don't have a husband to report to, is that your comment? Yeah, that? basically. <laughs> well, you're busy with school and things and working and stuff as well, though. And but not everyone has to get married as quickly as I did, so enjoy being single. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I'm not ready to pay for another wedding. <laughs> I'm not ready for a wedding. That's okay. That's good to be single then. Anyway. Okay. Well, make sure to join. If you would like to join in our stitch alongs that you work on getting your supplies. Would love to see when you get your supplies, especially if you're doing like color changes and stuff. Yeah, um, use the hashtags. The hashtags or tag are us in hashtag it. basic up and away and hashtag wordplay sell. So we'd really like to see all your progress and everything you're doing with that. But then would also, you know, just even when you get your supplies and you're ready to get started and things just, you know. Hashtag it so that we can see and we can follow along and follow the hashtag on Instagram. Oh, did you I got not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Abby. Okay. <laughs> this well. has been a fun stitch with me, especially having Abby join us. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Abby. Yeah, anytime. I got not. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram at Little Stitch Girl Designs. And you can find me on Instagram as Jamie X Stitch. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye.